creative friends thanks for joining me again today I want to talk about planners um, I'll talk about uh, what I've been doing with mine and uh, how things are progressing and where I am now which is nowhere <laughs> uh, but basically when the planner craze started a few years ago well I think it started a long time before that but it got really um, popular uh, a few years ago and I saw all these beautiful planners coming out with all those accessories the stickers the inserts the cool paper clips and all of that jazz and I thought wow that looks awesome but none of them really worked for what I wanted I just uh, didn't really see the point. I preferred putting things on my phone uh, because I didn't need to remind myself to write things down on paper. I would just put it on my phone and that was it. I knew or I would be reminded without um, fail. And um, also they didn't really appeal to me because they were not customizable enough for me what I wanted. Uh, you know, some days I want to write things about my thoughts. Some days I want to write things, well, quite often during the day, I need to write things about work. Um, and I like to insert bits and pieces. Anyway, that none, there was not one solution that fitted my needs. So I did decided to create my own planner, which is this one. And I'll talk about it um, for a moment. So let's put it in front. So because nothing worked, I decided to create my own. You can see it's very basic and not very fancy or professional or anything, but it worked for me. So all it is, is A5 cardstock paper. Um, this is 200 GSM. So I wanted something that wasn't too thin that I couldn't uh, paint over, but not too thick that I couldn't flip the pages around. So this seemed to be a good compromise. It's not made for painting, but it can handle paint if you don't put much water. Um, even watercolors, again, not much water. So I ended up using a lot of my pencils, uh, color pencils and your color crayons and, uh, and just watercolors in general on these. And and then what I did, I'll show you a sample page, sort of towards, maybe towards the end where I stopped, I started not using it very much. Um, let's see. So something like this. So basically I divided the page in three areas, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday on one. I just use my little planner uh, stamps to create my little flags to stamp the dates um, and then the little bullet icons just so I could have something to start with. Um, and then I'll go through this quickly to show you. So you can see it's super fat. <laughs> it's really fat. It's really hard to, you know, even move the pages even though I've got the really large binder rings here. And again, this is the only solution I could find because I could not um, find a folder that was the right size or the right thickness there was nothing available so you know I just improvised so I use these plastic sheets they are very thick and sturdy I don't know what they're called at all it's not acetate it's something else um, as a cover at the front and the back so I can still see through um, I had some stickers so I just put my name on it just in case you know I go see Nile early and I can't remember who I am this is it just let me know and by the way, if you have another you know, solution uh, instead of those loose binder rings that would work for something like this, do let me know. Something that doesn't involve too much work, you know. <laughs> anyway, so what I did is I basically I prepared a whole bunch of pages for the month ahead, two months sometimes if I could. And then I decorated them in advance just with the, uh, so the stamp for the date, as I said, the uh, months. I just hand wrote uh, the actual day of the month. It was just easier than just stamping each little number. That was too much of a pain for me. Um, and then my bullets and then off I went. I would decorate it at night, watching TV or just and then write, you know, my uh, work stuff and all of this. So it got really busy. Uh, definitely for a little while I was really good I came back to you know sort of redecorate some areas that I uh, were maybe a bit blank sometimes and then what I did is use uh, some what are they called again uh, journaling cards 
um, that I had because again it's something that I buy a lot because I love the designs and then I don't really use because I don't write things that much so I just when I had some thoughts I would just write them then on here and then punch some holes and then just add it in my folder so when there was something special and then I would keep also um, this folder as a memento or like a sorry somewhere to uh, store my mementos so an engagement party flyer for instance I would stick some photos from the party on the back um, and then you know when there was something really long I wanted to write about then I would you know just use a whole page and add things so I've, I've put journaling cards here I printed some photos hand wrote some things this was for a whole day for Christmas um, things like that a whole day for New Year's Eve inserted you know some thoughts into there you know that kind of stuff so I just went along uh, pretty happily some birthday cards that meant something to me uh, some you know plane tickets and uh, little bits and pieces really just anything that I had laying around I wanted to keep I just put in this folder so it's not really just a planner it's it's a lot more than that so as you can see you know it goes on for quite a bit we moved into a new home got a beautiful card from a friend so I kept that put it in there uh, when I hit 40 I had lots of uh, I had several days where I celebrated so I did a little card for each day for each thing that we did that day and then kept some of the cards not all of them just the special ones um, just added a few bits and pieces so it's like a binder uh, planner slash art journaling um, slash uh, memory collection I suppose something like that it's a bit hard to tell <laughs> it doesn't have one use it's got everything because it's also for work so this is what I did and then I lasted for maybe a year and a half doing this and then it got to the point where I just didn't have much time to prepare all the pages um, ahead of time so I thought okay maybe I will cave in and then try one of the already made uh, binders so that style and uh, I thought I'll treat myself for my birthday and then get all the bits and pieces and see how I go so this was actually empty because this was uh, the year after this one and I just I didn't do much in it so I just took all the pages out and thought maybe I can reuse the dividers for something else um, and it's very pretty and beautiful I love the colors the design I love everything about it um, and then I didn't use it much uh, and then I thought because I didn't use much maybe the year after that I'll do better so I got another one again stunning design stunning colors uh, I just love you know it's so happy and colorful it's exactly what I like and and it's got glitter as well I mean what more can you ask for so um, there you go so I had the planner and then to, we're in October at the moment let's see how October looks like or what it looks like this is October for the month this is Elliot's birthday my little puppy I uh, wrote that ahead of time and then we actually forgot and only remembered the day after so that really worked this is the week after after okay this is all of October okay so what does that tell you maybe it was better back in August let's see August nothing nothing I tried nothing 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 okay I did put some stickers ahead of time just you know thinking it would help to have a few things here and there now what's the issue with this I just love everything about it I found a format that worked well it's not uh, it doesn't have like uh, pre-printed things in the boxes it's quite plain uh, it's divided in three so I can you know do either morning afternoon evening I never do that but I can just handwrite all my little bullet points and things to do on each day here separate them it looks good um, I love the colors I love the formats it's it works really well it's colorful and beautiful um, and then you know I've got everything I've got the super cute bag I mean how beautiful is that it's so nice um, I've got heaps of planner stamps in here tons um, you know I've got everything ready I've got washi tapes I've got pens glue uh, bits and pieces journaling card post-its all of that and then I don't use it I have no idea why um, I don't know why exactly <laughs> I think 
if I have to just find a reason, and maybe you can tell me because I'm a bit baffled here, uh, I just assume that it's not personalized enough. It's not exactly me, so I don't end up using it. Um, so maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I start one of these again, then maybe I will get back into it. Because the beautiful thing about this is that you know, I can go back and just reread some things, um, things that we did and um, some fun times. For instance, my little poppy now is, you know, passed away last year and um, this was a really fun and I'll try not to cry. Give me a second. Deep breath. Okay. It's still a, it's still a tender subject, as you know. Um, you know, I had all this... Um, tons of fabric that I didn't use much and I thought alright I'll just cut them all into squares and do beach pa um, like a large patchwork of fabric and I'll make some fun curtains out of that well okay I did that and they're not quite finished this was back in uh, Monday 14th of December a few years ago now <laughs> so it's still unfinished but my point is this super cute photo of me and Poppy at the sewing machine is just such a beautiful memory for me of what I was doing at the time and and how cute I thought this was to have him on my lap um, pretending that he's the one you know sewing with me or that I'm teaching him so little things like that you know it's you have no way to put them in in a binder like this well you do but somehow I don't I don't use it so I just think that uh, I'm gonna try this again um, in the hope that I can uh, jump start myself and start collecting those moments again that just disappear if you don't uh, record them somewhere. So I'll show you my process so you can see what I do and maybe it will inspire you to do the same thing. And by the way, um, these days there are other options, you know, like the Dilusions Dialogue Journal where it's a bit, you know, a bit like what I've done here where you've got pages and there's artwork on one side. On the other side you've got, um, you know, the days of the week and it's quite plain so you can pretty much customize it to how you need it. But it doesn't really work for me uh, because I want to be able to uh, add things inside and, you know, cards and glue things. And the poor journal will just fall apart if I added all this stuff like I have in here. Uh, so let's, let's just show you what I do and hopefully it will help me and help you at the same time. So I haven't got, I don't know if I've got any more of this stuff, but it doesn't matter. I just use a piece of cardstock. Uh, and it's, you know, like I said, it's super simple and basic. Uh, I just use pre-cut cardstock. This is A5 size. So for my American friends, it'll be approximately half um, of an 8x10. It's a bit bigger than that, but roughly to give you an idea. And all I do, so is just, I'll have to find my ruler first. Here it is. So all I do is grab my ruler, um, measure the size of the page here. Um, in this case, it is 21 centimeters. And because I want to divide it in three, then I just divide that in three. So seven, I mark every seven centimeters, seven, 14. I turn my page around, do the same here. It doesn't have to be super precise. I think the whole point of doing something like this is to make it really personalizable, if that's a word, and something where you can work and add things and not worry too much about being perfect, just like you would in your art journal. So just think of this as an art journal where you can add um, all your reminders, mementos, uh, work commitments, and all of that. Everything in your life, basically, into one. You don't have to divide it into one for work, one for your life, uh, one for the gym. Unless it's something that you want to do, but, you know. The gym? What's the gym? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I'll do that, and i do the same on the back. Just trace a quick line, and that'll just be my divider for the page for each day of the week I suppose now like I said um, I do Saturday and Sunday this does this looks a little wonky seven no okay uh, my brain must be wonky uh, so for the weekend I do Saturday and Sunday on the same in the same box um, but 
sometimes obviously or and usually a lot more things happen on a weekend that uh, on than on a work day um, so you might need to add more details and that's when I do a whole page or I grab a little um, journaling card and then I just handwrite whatever happened on there instead of trying to squeeze things in there if it's not enough and then so that's your page um, next what I would do is simply just punch two holes in here let's find the hole punch it is um, and then I just punch my page center the two holes and as you can see it's a little bit over the line but I don't really care at all it doesn't bother me at all and then I will grab some little eyelets now you can get they come in colors and clear and white as well all sorts of things so um, I made the mistake of taking mine out of the box and then I couldn't roll it back up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll, for this one I'll just do some clear ones because I don't want them to um, tear. And that's one of the issues I have with, um, you know, using ring binders for art and other things is that the paper always gets damaged unless you protect it this way first. And then this is not much work just prevention and that, that's all you see at least you know that it's protected so that's our page prepared now I'll do a whole bunch of these pages ahead of time usually I just trace the lines on all of them and then I come back punch them all and then I come back and put all the outlets on and then um, it's time to add the days of the week and the month you could do this any way you want um i had i did try a few different formats on mine i believe let's see what i did back then so here at first i just stamped the date at an angle and then i just did a little squiggly line around and then use a little flag on this side and then i add a little um what do you call it a little icon in a way i suppose that changed uh, every month I had flowers on this one, had arrows on this one, um, and then this one I had a little flower at the bottom. Um, and then here I just did the days straight, not an angle anymore, just I think so it wouldn't use as much space. Um, and then I just kept with that format for quite some time actually, you know, it just works. Sometimes you just do it as simple as possible and it works. Um, I varied the icons for the bullet points. I've got arrows, I've got triangles, got little flags, I've got little words. Um, anything that was small and worked, uh, you know, could be used for that. So yeah, super simple. Sometimes I did the lines in different colors, different markers, different pens. Just do it however you feel feels good and looks fun and colorful and appealing to you. Okay, next I'm going to stamp my days and months so I have a couple of uh, sets already uh, with two different fonts for the month and two different fonts for the days of the week so that works fine for me these were uh, from Kaiser Craft you can see they're a bit yellowing now because I've used them a lot and um, I'm going to use my stays on jet black ink so you could also use Ranger Archival ink or anything similar the idea for me is that I want to be able to add um, you know water soluble media on top so watercolors and neo crayons and that sort of thing so I don't want the ink to obviously smudge and bleed but if you're not going to do anything like that then you could use whatever ink you like um, do colored ink as well really up to you so I'm just gonna go with black because I want I'll have other things standing out basically um, other than um, just basically I don't want these parts to the words to stand out to be the primary focus I'll get there Phew. okay um, so I'm gonna do so you can see Saturday and Sunday are pretty much uh, still brand new because I don't well I can't even remember if I actually used if I even stamped Saturday and Sunday let's have a look I know I just stamped weekend you know <laughs> that's right so let's do the month first i'm going to choose the more cursive font and 
Actually, these may even fall off because I haven't used them in a little while. So I'm going to give them... So if you uh, stems don't stick very much anymore, then the best way to make them stick again, you can see if I press on there, yeah, they just fall off, is to wash them in a bit of warm water and a bit of soap, just regular stuff, and then dry them off um, nicely and then they should be good again. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, we should be good to go again. Now, which one was Monday? Um, this one. I remembered with this previous um, binder here, planner, um, a couple of times I did mess up the days or the, you know, you know, the numbers on the sides of what you're going to do. You know, you could start the page again, but it's just not worth it. So I'm going to use the same format. Yep, they stick beautifully again. And just do a very simple... Monday here. So again, if this is something that I do uh, as a batch. So I'm not going to, I'm showing you what I do for one page now, but I certainly don't do each day of the week one by one like this. Oh, hell no. That takes way too long. Um, and I basically do all my Mondays on all my pages, all the Tuesdays, all the Wednesdays and so on. Um, until I have everything filled up. Now, Thursday. Oh, actually, something I forgot to mention is that you can have, you can go with two different formats depending on how you want things. For me, and I, you know, it's, I don't normally do it this way actually, I kind of messed up for my own uh, planner, but it may be okay for you, is that you can decide if you want to go with um, the days of the week on any page that if you don't mind at all, or if you want to have um, the week at a glance in front of you. So in this case, you'll want to have your two pages prepared ahead with, and starts on the Monday on the left, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then weekend. So on this one, then I should have started the other way. Really. You know, I can't really save this one. So I'm going to do another one. And then I'll be right back. But it really depends. If you don't care about that, then um, don't worry about it. Do it just as it comes. 